Hey, what's up, everybody? Hammer Heart Metal Reviews here once again. Today, we're doing another classic album review for you. We're going to be talking about some death metal with Hate Eternal, celebrating the 20th anniversary of their sophomore album, King of All Kings. So this album came out September 17th, 2002. Like I said, celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. Cannot believe it has been 20 years since this album came out. So this was, like I said, their sophomore album, second output in their career. And just, wow, absolutely amazing slab of death metal here. It's 10 tracks. It's about 34 minutes long. So I'll kind of give my usual spiel here. I'll do a track by track analysis, talk about the album a little bit and give you my overall thoughts on it. And then I'll score it out of 10 at the end. So the lineup on this album was just perfect. You have, of course, Eric Rutan, the longtime band leader on guitar and lead vocals. Eric Rutan, of course, used to be in Ripping Corpse and Morbid Angel. More currently these days, he is now in Cannibal Corpse, but Hate Eternal is like his passion project. Just putting out the type of death metal that he absolutely loves and that I absolutely love. One of the best guitarists in the death metal genre, for sure, at least in my opinion. Then on bass and backing vocals, you had Jared Anderson, who unfortunately did pass away at a young age, so rest in peace to him. But yeah, his bass work on this album is amazing. Then you have the legend Derek Roddy on drums. Derek One Take Roddy, as he was known, because he would just play the most insane blast beats and double kicks and be able to do it in just one take. Just super technical, amazing drummer. Was only with Hate Eternal for a little bit, couple albums. Uh, before he moved on but yeah his impact is felt on this album for sure so this album yeah within the album booklet it actually says that like no editing was done here and you can tell it's got this really raw and abrasive production but it really works like in Hate Eternal's later days you can tell that it's like finely produced and like everything very nitpicked to make it sound massive and amazing but it's a little bit of a different vibe here this is just pure straight ahead death metal on record almost feels like it's recorded off the floor like i said no like over producing or editing going on just stellar death metal musicians putting all their rage and hatred onto record and it's just fucking perfect this is a very primal sounding record, but it's so exciting. It's like barbaric, but brilliant at the same time. It just really kicks you in the mouth and makes no apologies for it. Like there's nothing about this album that's trying to be anything other than straight ahead death metal. And that is how I love it. The vocals on here are great. It's a really great mix of like the low guttural style, but then some higher pitched screams are mixed in there as well. Like I said, the drumming is absolutely standout. Derek Roddy is one of the best out there. The guitar riffs are so inventive and interesting. Like Eric Rutan just has such a unique sound. It's so identifiable that it's him playing guitar. You can't always tell that with death metal, but I really find Eric Rutan's signature sound really on display on this album. The solos are really on point and just excellent musicianship throughout this whole album. So all that being said, let's do the track by track analysis now. So it kicks off with an intro, our beckoning. It's only about 45 seconds long and it's just got this creepy atmosphere and then this really like demonic voice coming in. So it's a, a weird way to start the album, but it really kind of sets the tone that, okay, this is going to be some creepy demonic kind of stuff. But then it kicks right into it, just explodes into the next song, kind of the true opener of the title track, King of All Kings. So this one just starts immediately with this massive scream and these blast beats and just crushing riffs throughout. But it's a brutal song, but it's catchy at the same time. I'm my communion, I reign supreme, I am the king of all kings, I am my dominion. My own affliction. I am the king of all kings. Just so fucking awesome. Features a great solo as well. Really amazing stuff here. One of my favorite tracks on the album. After that, the third song, The Obscure Terror. We are the Obscure Terror. Just fucking awesome. Awesome riffs to start this song. So another really cool riffs and section about two minutes into the song as well like the opening's great but then yeah about two minutes in it's this really killer section and there's great lead work over this insanely good drumming throughout the song as well another standout here as well it's hard to pick favorite songs on here but yeah king of all kings and the obscure terror definitely right up there for my faves on the album song after that the servants of the gods guess what 
more amazing riffs and just great songwriting on display here. It's just brutal in your face death metal, but with this great understanding of melody and how to incorporate it and like how to write melody into a heavy ass song. Like Eric Rutan is the master at that. Like his solos bring this beauty into the heaviness. And like, in my opinion, Hate Eternal is one of the best at doing that. You don't often hear the word beautiful with brutal death metal, but Hate Eternal makes it work. They really permeate the brutality with these beautiful solos and underlying melody and ah, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff here. The fifth song, Beyond Redemption. I absolutely love the drumming at the beginning of this song. It just really matches the hyper speed of the riffing so well. And this song is just relentless throughout. Pretty much this whole album is relentless. But yeah, this song, very hyper speed, like I said. Another just awesome song. There's no weak moments on this whole album. But let's keep this going. Sixth song, Born by Fire. Like, fuck, man. Another one where these riffs just really stand out. They're so great. Like, guitar wizardry, just a full showcase of it here. It's brutal, but melodic and catchy riff writing again, like these little tiny guitar fills and frills, these little melodic bursts. It's just amazing. The double kicks are so fast. Like Derek Roddy is a beast here. All in all, just really killer stuff. The seventh song, Chance and Declarations, got these really great crushing riffs, the really driving drums throughout. It's got these like weird timed riff playing, but it's such an interesting style that Eric Rutan employs here. And along with Jared Anderson's bass too, like they really just play off each other. And yeah, once again, just really has that trademark Eric Rutan sound to this. The eighth song, Rising Legions of Black. This is just a heavy thrasher. It's brutal and crushing throughout. Like stop me if you've heard this before. Maybe it sounds like I'm repeating myself, but that's just because this album does not let up. After that, the ninth song, In Spirit, The Power of Mana. This is just a beefy song. The riffs and roaring vocals throughout blasting. Like, once again, I know I've said all this before, but come on, man. Go listen to this. It'll knock your socks off. And that leads to probably my favorite song on the album, the album closer, Powers That Be. This is possibly my favorite Hate Eternal song. It's just so fucking great. They actually have a music video for this one, too. You should go check out the main riff in this song. Like, how did he even write this? Boom, bam, boom, bam, bam, boom. Powers that be, claim the lives of a ruling dynasty. Powers that be, ancient apocalypse of this dynasty. Just fucking awesome, awesome stuff. One of their best for sure. Perfect way to close this album. So all these great things being said, not really too much negative I'm going to put on this here like the riffs are unique it's just pure death metal with no bells and whistles just exactly what i love straight up brutality super well done one of their best albums in my opinion for sure if not their best like i put this and i monarch pretty close together i know this style of brutal death metal is probably not going to be for everyone it's very in your face but if you spend your time with it and you're into this kind of stuff, like there, like I said, there is beauty to be found in this music as well. The solos shred, everything about this album kicks ass. So to score this out of 10, if you've watched my rating scale before, anything eight and above is something I strongly recommend. If it reaches to nine out of 10 level, that's like next level stuff, really supreme album. And I think this album hits that mark. I'm confidently giving this nine out of 10. Maybe not a perfect album by any means. Like I said, the production is maybe leaves a little bit to be desired, but at the same time, I think it suits the style of this album perfectly. And yeah, not really anything else to complain about here. Absolutely love it. Nine out of 10, easy score for me. So anyways, these are just my opinions as usual. Let me know down below what you think of Hate Eternal and what you think of King of All Kings. If you haven't heard it before, go give it a listen in celebration of its 20th anniversary. And yeah, until next time, Hammer Heart Mail Reviews out!